All right, just got back from outside and saw YouTube cut off my tail of my last video, so I'm just going to try and wrap it up. But I was saying a couple things in there that um, I was talking about the swine flu and what they're doing this fall, and you know my personal feelings besides the just the flu stuff is they're they're instituting martial law, and um, you know that's my overall take on it. Um, I'm certainly not going to get a shot, so the only part I care about is you're going to have rolling roadblocks and. Like the girl in that video said, I'm sure you've I'm sure you've all seen it, and uh, she's been talking about the training that they're doing right now and rolling roadblocks and apprehending people and searches and seizures and all that. So that's the part that you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's what we're going to be dealing with, trying to avoid being uh, being seized by them, get your weapon seized. You know, that's the part that that gets me. Um, but you know, to me, I look at the, the timeline. Um, you know, some people say, oh, we got to well, the second quarter next year, this is going to happen and all that. I think that these guys, you know, Obama team and the team behind Obama, you know, they, they're rolling full speed with this. If you look, they're not slowing down one bit every day. It's a, every day they're doing the mass rush um, and they, they can't do things fast enough. And started with the stimulus. And now we got the health care and cap and trade and all this nonsense going on at the same time and they're they're losing and so they're getting more and more frantic so to me that's where the real danger lies is their plans are not really going according to, to plan they, they you know I think they figured with Obama mania they'd get have a year and a half you know to just do whatever they wanted to but they, they, they certainly never expected um, the you know, millions of tea partiers and you know the people in uh, Washington DC and you know they can't ignore that they're trying to Say that they, you know, Obama's saying he didn't notice. Oh, I don't notice that. Yeah, they notice it. They notice it, and they know they're in big trouble. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, they're they're gonna rush it, rush this through. I mean, I think there's days left. They they've got this plan going on, and they're just picking the right day. But they have to have that event to <clears throat> to um, launch their plans across the finish line. Uh, if they're not. It doesn't even look like they'd be able to get it done legislatively. Um, you know, the big lie about the cap and trade came out. That's going to be a three thousand dollar tax on people, and the health care. Everybody, everybody knows that's baloney. Now they're going to try and say, "Well, oh well, we wrote it last night. Now it's good, so we're voting on it." So people know that these people are lying every day, day in and day out. They they know they didn't fix the bill because it wouldn't have been that way to begin with if they were honest at all. So we know where they're lying again. But anyway, I just want to say I don't think that there's very much time left prepare, to prepare for for what's coming. And, you know, good Lord, if you haven't done anything yet, better spend, you know, days, all days doing that. You know, you've got to buy stuff that you're going to need. Um, you know, they're just food, guns. Jeez, if you don't have a gun by now, you better go out and get one right away because that's going to be the last chance. Those are going to be gone soon. So please prepare and... Um, you know, keep a sharp eye out. You know, I'm trying to see everything I can all day. These people are, you know, these people are going behind our backs with big knives, machetes, stabbing us in the back with machetes. You know, they, these people are bad. You know, we and we say, oh, we can stop them. I don't know if you send, if 2,000 people go to Washington, D.C., and they don't even notice, you know, what else can you do? You know, really, what else can, can you do? You know, write write another letter to the you know senator. This stuff, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you got a out of control government. It's a banana republic. You know, they're not going by even a, they're not going by the constitution or any laws. They're doing what they feel like, and if that's not a banana republic, I don't know what is. So good night, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.